Uh, hi, good evening members and guests. I am Ajay Singhvi, uh, Media and Student Affairs Leader at ICI Abu Dhabi Chapter. And today we have a, a Mr. Abhi Joshi, partner Deloitte Corporate Tax. And he will be touching based on the corporate tax laws on the general applicability of the law. And uh, I welcome you, Abhi, and thank, thank you, thank you so Ajay. much for coming. Thank you for having uh, me. I just want to know, like, uh, UAE corporate tax is a very new concept in uh, this whole region, uh, UAE especially. Mm -hmm. And uh, since it is a, a new thing, so people are more keen to know about the general effective uh, of the law on management and control. Can you just uh, touch base with, uh, on that? Yes, so basically one of the article of the law talks about the place of effective management and control. So basically you will have, you know, uh, uh, any legal entities registered in UAE are subject to corporate tax, but you can have a situation where you have a UAE legal entity here owning a 100% subsidiary in a foreign jurisdiction, but that foreign jurisdiction can be controlled uh, by here from a UAE headquarter. So okay. in that case, what the law is saying is that even that foreign entity you know, who is not even a resident here in UAE, but it's controlled by a parent company in UAE, could potentially be subject to corporate tax. So that's where this this something called POEM. It's like a place of effective management and control. That's what they're referring to. Thank you so much. And I just want to know, like, uh, there are various free zones all over the UAE. So if you can just throw light on the free zones uh, applicability of the law and uh, what are the main uh, points which uh, our re members should consider while uh, considering a corporate law? No, absolutely. Uh, no, thank you, Mr. Zay. So, well, f we know that there are two types of entities in the UAE. One is a mainland entity and the free zone entity. And the one big difference is that mainland entities are subject to tax at the rate of 9%, but the free zone entities are not subject to tax, uh, you know, provided certain conditions are met. So one thing we have to keep in mind is that the moment free zone entities have a non-qualifying income, then it can be subject to 9% tax. So you may have a situation for a free zone entity having a, partial, a portion of a qualifying income, which is subject to no tax. Uh, but the portion of income which is subject to tax. So this is basically one of the key areas we need to look uh, from a starting point. Thank you so much and really appreciate uh, once uh, one more time and uh, we are looking forward to listen to you in a full line. Absolutely. Thank you Thanks so for much. having me. Thank, thank, thank okay, you. Bye -bye. Thank you.